World Championship Tennis WCT was a tour for professional male tennis players established in 1968 the first players signed a contract at the end of 1967 and lasted until the emergence of the ATP Tour in 1990. A number of tennis tournaments around the world were affiliated with WCT and players were ranked in a special WCT ranking according to their results in those tournaments. The WCT had an important impact on the commercial development of tennis. It instituted a tie-breaker system and outfitted players with colored clothing, a radical idea at that time. WCT also strongly encouraged the audience to cheer for players, rather than politely applaud, as the more state tennis audiences had done before. They publicly emphasized their prize money structure and special bonus pool as an incentive to attract top players. History World Championship Tennis was founded in September 1967 by New Orleans sports promoter David Dixon, who had earlier witnessed the dreary conditions of the professional circuit before the Open era when he visited a poorly promoted match between Rod Lava and Ken Rosewall. In August of that year he had presented his idea of a pro tennis tour to Lamar Hunt and Al Hill Jr. who agreed to invest. WCT became the major professional tennis tour of players under contract of the early 70s. After starting with the Handsome Eight, the original eight players Dennis Ralston, John Newcomb, Tony Roche, Cliff Drysdale, Earl Buchholz, Nicky Pillich, Roger Taylor, and Pierre Baths, the first WCT tournament was held in January 1968 in Sydney, Australia, and used the VASSS scoring system. According to sportswriter Rod Humphreys, this first event was a hastily organized tournament held in the parking lot of the Channel 7 television studios in Epping and was won by Tony Roche. The first American WCT tournament was held in February 1968 in Kansas City. In March 1968 Hunt and Hill took over Dixon's 50% stake in WCT and Dixon left the organization. WCT took a loss of $300,000 during its first year of operation. Al Hill Jr. became president of WCT. By early 1970, the WCT had signed other players Marty Reeson, Ray Moore, Tom Ocker, Arthur Ashe, and in July it acquired the player contracts of the other major professional organization, the National Tennis League, NTL, which had under contract players from the former professional group of Jack Kramer, namely Rod Lava, Ken Rosewall, and Pancho Gonzalez, as well as Andres Gimeno, Roy Emerson, and Fred Stoll. In 1971 the WCT circuit grew to 21 tournaments around the globe. In July 1971 at its annual meeting the International Lawn Tennis Federation ILTF voted to ban all WCT contract professionals from the ILTF tournaments and facilities from the beginning of 1972 onwards. At the end of the 1971 WCT season the top eight players from the season were seeded according to the WCT rankings and played a year-end championship tournament in November. This was held about two weeks before the similar championship of the rival Grand Prix circuit, called the Masters. For commercial reasons, from 1972 onward this championship, played on indoor carpet, was usually held in the spring in Dallas, Texas and became known as the WCT Finals. The tournament ran for 19 years and the last championship was held in 1989. The format for this event was adopted by the Association of Tennis Professionals for the year-end tour finals. In April 1972 an agreement was reached between the ILTF and WCT that divided the 1973 tour in a WCT circuit that ran from January through May and a Grand Prix circuit that was scheduled for the rest of the year. Under this agreement WCT players were again allowed to play the Grand Prix tournaments. The WCT tour was merged into the Grand Prix tennis circuit in 1978. On 30 April 1981 WCT announced its withdrawal from the Grand Prix circuit and the establishment of its own full calendar season for 1982. 
According to Lamar Hunt the reasons for the withdrawal were the restrictions placed on them by the Men's Professional Council, the administrators of the Grand Prix circuit. In January 1983 WCT sued the Men's International Professional Tennis Council MIPTC, the Association of Tennis Professionals and the ITF, claiming unfair restriction of trade. In November 1983 a settlement resulted in WCT's reincorporation into the Grand Prix with effect from 1985.1989 was the last season of WCT. The ATP established its own tennis circuit from 1990. On August 28, 1990, after the Tournament of Champions event at Forest Hills, WCT announced its dissolution. WCT also built and operated tennis clubs in the United States, WCT Lakeway World of Tennis in Lakeway, Metro Austin, Texas and WCT Peachtree World of Tennis in Peachtree Corners, Metro Atlanta, Georgia. Topic WCT by year. Topic WCT nineteen eighty five. WCT tournaments returned to the Grand Prix stage after a three year absence during nineteen eighty two to eighty four. There were only four events. The titles were split between Ivan Lendl and John McEnroe, winning two each. While McEnroe entered into all four, Lendl played just two and won both. McEnroe grabbed WCT Houston title beating Kevin Curran in the final. The WCT finals in Dallas saw the unexpected defeat of McEnroe in the quarterfinals by Joachim Nystrom in three straight sets. The title was captured by Lendl, whose success completed a triplicate of titles in three weeks, Fort Myers on hard, Monte Carlo on clay and Dallas on the carpet. Other players have won three, even four, tournaments in successive weeks in the Open era, but never on different surfaces. In Atlanta, McEnroe won the final over Paul Anacon, prevailing in three close sets. The WCT Tournament of Champions in Forest Hills ended with much anticipated final between Lendl and McEnroe. Despite winning only two of his last 12 matches over McEnroe in ATP tournaments, Lendl beat McEnroe 6 3 6 3. WCT 1986 The WCT Atlanta tournament was marked by early exits of both top seeds, Stefan Edberg and Boris Becker, in the first round. Edberg lost to Mikhail Pernfors and Becker to eventual runner-up Tim Wilkerson. In Dallas, Anders Jared was the unexpected winner, having replaced the injured Ivan Lendl in the 12-player draw. WCT 1987 WCT 1988 WCT 1989 1989 was the final year of the WCT Tour. Only three events were organized, all of them were incorporated into the Nabisco Grand Prix and gaining ATP ranking points. The 19th and last WCT Finals in Reunion Arena, Dallas saw John McEnroe win his fifth Dallas title. His semi-final with Ivan Lendl produced the best match of the tournament and McEnroe managed to beat Lendl for the first time in a little more than three and a half years. The tournament was negatively impacted by the withdrawals of Boris Becker who did not appear at all and Andre Agassi walking off the court during a second set match with McEnroe. Brad Gilbert entered the event to fill the gap for Becker and surprisingly made it to the final. Later in spring, Lendl captured last two WCT titles in Scottsdale and Forest Hills to close the WCT era. WCT 1990 
Topic WCT 1990. There was no WCT tour in 1990, when the ATP established its own circuit named the ATP Tour, however there was one final tournament sanctioned by WCT. The Forest Hills WCT at Westside Tennis Club was moved from hard true green clay to hard courts and run as special non-ATP Tour event. Ivan Lendl stamped his WCT dominance winning the very last title. Topic WCT Year End Championship Finals. The WCT Finals were usually held in Dallas. The 1971 quarterfinals and semifinals were played in Houston, and the final was played at the Memorial Auditorium in Dallas. The 1972–1979 editions were played at the Moody Coliseum, and the 1980–1989 tournaments at Reunion Arena in Dallas. The first edition of the WCT Finals in 1971 was played in November, just a few days before the Masters, the equivalent of the WCT Finals for the rival Grand Prix circuit. Because of TV pressure, the second edition was held in May 1972 and most of the following editions were organized in between months of March and May. Nevertheless, in 1972 another edition, less important and with half the prize money, was held in November in Rome. The prize money offered to the winner, Arthur Ashe, was $25,000 compared to the $50,000 won by Ken Rosewall for the main edition in May. A decade later there were three editions of the WCT Finals, the most important one in Dallas, and the others in autumn in Naples, Italy, and in winter in January 1983 in Detroit. WCT Final Rankings by Year 19711 Rod Lava 2 Tom Ocker 3 Ken Rosewall 4 Cliff Drysdale 5 Arthur Ashe 6 John Newcomb 7 Marty Reeson 8 Bob Lutz 9 Roy Emerson 10 Andres Gimeno 1972 in fact second part of 1971 and first part of 1972 1 Rod Lava 2 Ken Rosewall 3 Tom Ocker 4 Cliff Drysdale 5 Marty Reeson 6 Arthur Ashe 7 Bob Lutz 8 John Newcomb 9 Roy Emerson 9 Charlie Passarel 1972 second part final standings the first eight players played the 1972 autumn winter WCT finals held in Rome, first John Newcomb 2 Arthur Ashe 3 Tom Ocker 4 Mark Cox 5 Cliff Drysdale 5 Marty Reeson 7 Bob Lutz 7 Nicky Pillich 9 Roy Emerson 9 Anthony Roche 9 El Schaefe 1973 The players were separated into two groups, A and B, with each group playing certain tournaments. The top four from each group qualified for the final at the end of the season. 1974 The group was divided into three groups, red, blue, and green and the top eight points winners qualified for the final marked with asterisk, two players by group plus the other two players having most points. Each group played separate tournaments except the Philadelphia tournament at the start of the season. 1975 The group was divided into three groups again, red, blue, and green and the top eight points winners qualified for the final marked with asterisk. Each group played separate tournaments except the Philadelphia tournament at the start of the season. 1976-1983, all the players were put back together and played the same tournaments. 1982 WCT expanded from the previous year and broke away from the Grand Prix for the year. There were three finals, Spring, Dallas the most important one, Fall, Naples, Italy, and Winter, Detroit, and therefore three different points tables for each season. 1983 there were only nine tournaments and the WCT were back with the Grand Prix circuit. 1 Lendl 2 McEnroe 3 Villas 4 Gerolitis 5 Clare 6 Magnamy 7 Smith 8 Feeback 9 Tarocci 10 Scanlon Topic WCT Challenge Cup 
Some special events such as the Etna World Cup where the Australian pros and the US pros faced in a team event because in 1970, at the start of this event, contract pro players weren't allowed to enter the Davis Cup or the Challenge Cup an eight-man tournament were held by the WCT organization. List of WCT Challenge Cup winners 1976 Honolulu, Ilina Stays defeated Arthur Ashe, 6 3, 1 6, 6 7, 6 3, 6 1. 1976 Seventh Las Vegas, Ilina Stays defeated Jimmy Connors, 3 6, 7 6, 6 4, 7 5. 1977 Las Vegas, Jimmy Connors defeated Roscoe Tanner, 6 2, 5 6, 3 6, 6 2, 6 5. 1978 Montego Bay, Ilina Stays defeated Peter Fleming, 2 6, 5 6, 6 2, 6 4, 6 4. 1979 Montreal, Bjorn Borg defeated Jimmy Connors, 6 4, 6 2, 2 6, 6 4. 1980 Montreal, John McEnroe defeated Vijay Amritraj, 6-1, 6-2, Notes See also Grand Prix Tennis Circuit History of tennis <laughs>